Hello, my name's Laura Harvey. I'm the Outdoor Learning Manager for Essex Wildlife Trust and I've just found a butterfly in my greenhouse so I thought I might spend today exploring my garden to see just how many butterflies there are out and about at the moment. This is the butterfly I rescued. It's an orange tip butterfly. It's a male because it has orange tips, the female doesn't. And when their wings are closed, you can see they have mottled wings underneath. The caterpillars eat a plant called lady's smock or cookie flower. Good chance to get a close up. You can see it's antennae, so it's an insect, it has six legs. You can see, can you see? Three, two at the front and one at the back, on one side, and three on the other side. It's got eyes. It's got a tongue like a straw that will curl up inside it. Oh, what's it doing now? It's amazing. It's really happy just sitting here. I've never had that. I've always thought it's really hard to get a good film of an orange tip. Every time I've seen them so far this spring, they've just been fluttering around and haven't settled anywhere. I'm kind of waiting for it to take off. I can see it fly away, but it's just sitting here. Well, a little bit later, and the butterfly's still here on my finger. You can see its eye. Ooh. I'm trying to get my phone to stay in focus. You can see its eye, its antennae moving around. Oh, and it's gone. And this is where it went after I let it go. It landed on some bluebells in the garden. This butterfly is a holly blue butterfly. It's been fluttering around my ivy. They lay their eggs on holly and also on ivy. There are so many different sorts of insects. And they're such an important part of the ecosystem. Lots of birds rely on insects to eat. We rely on insects to make our food because if there were no bees and butterflies there would be no pollination and if there was no pollination we would have no fruits and the plants would not be able to reproduce and make more seeds and we need plants because plants make oxygen for us to breathe. So everything is linked. But at this time of the year, we are so lucky because we have so much wildlife around. It's beautiful to see out and about. The weather is lovely. Everything is busy. The birds are singing. The butterflies are fluttering around. The flowers are coming out. Beautiful peacock butterfly soaking up the rays, the sun and the warmth before it flies off to get some nectar. It's got really strong colours. False eyes to confuse predators into thinking there's a huge four-eyed monster lurking in here somewhere watching them. This is a comma butterfly. You can see its wing at the top of the left is a little bit tatty, but it's still beautiful. There are 59 different species of butterfly in the UK and the butterflies are in decline. These are moths here too. They tend to fly at night time. You could have a go at some butterfly art. Butterflies have symmetrical wings. You could collect some petals from the floor, like I did, and some leaves, and arrange them on a piece of cotton fabric. Then fold the fabric over in half, find a stone or a little hammer, and if you tap it gently, the colour from the petals and leaves will start to come through.
There are lots of ways you can help butterflies near where you live. You can make a nectar bar, or if you've got a garden, you can plant flowers in your garden that have lots of nectar for butterflies. Stay safe and stay wild.